Well, it's day one of the Liberal Democrat conference, and yes, I am wearing a Welsh flag tie. Today's poli um, policy debates look quite interesting. We'll be starting off with reports from various federal committees, but then we'll be launching straight into the debate on the Real Women policy paper that has proved some, somewhat controversial for its discussion of the airbrushing of images of models and whether or not that has an impact on the body image of young people. I think that should be a fascinating debate and I'd be interested to see where there are arguments both for and against that and, and what the final conclusion of the conference is. I think one of the important things to remember about the Liberal Democrat conference is that the party's policy is made by the representatives here, it's not made by the leadership. So whatever we decide here is certainly going to be influential, if not um, decisive, in terms of what goes into our manifesto when the general election comes. Now, of course, Nick Clegg has been in the papers today arguing that we are going to have to make quite savage cuts in public expenditure if we're going to rebalance the budget and start paying off some of the debt that the country is in. And I think that the mood of the representatives is that, by and large, Nick Clegg is right. However, I think there are some red line issues here, including tuition fees, which all of us expect to see the abolition of in our manifesto. And also, I think there will be a, quite a, a strong debate about whether or not we should be means testing universal benefits, which Nick Clegg did mention, but which I think that the majority of Liberal Democrats believe should not happen. So clearly, um, you know, there is some controversy here and certainly some quite strong discussion about those points. But what I think is also important is that this is a very decisive conference for the Liberal Democrats. What we decide here will be going towards our manifesto. But also it is our opportunity as a party to build on the successes of the last five or six months where we've held steady in the opinion polls at 19, 20, 22 percent in which Nick Clegg has established himself as a a very good leader of the Liberal Democrats and certainly a potential minister in the government along with Vince Cable and hopefully enable us from our discussions here both to reinforce that image of that positive image of Vince, of Vince Cable and Nick Clegg which the, the voters have and, and to build on it so as people can start to see Nick as a potential Prime Minister. The Liberal Democrats are going into this election to fight for every single vote because if you vote for Liberal Democrats, then you get Liberal Democrat policies. And if we do end up, as some media commentators have speculated, with a no overall control parliament, then clearly the Liberal Democrats will be an important part of that. But that's not something we're aiming for. What we're aiming for is to get Liberal Democrat policies into place. And, whether, and how we do that is up to the, you, the voters, and up to how people decide what, what they're going to do at that ballot box. I'm confident that when the general election comes, we're not only going to gain seats in Wales, but across the United Kingdom. We're going to have one of the strongest and biggest parliamentary parties for the Liberal Democrats in Parliament since 1922, and that we're going to form a very influential bloc, and that the sort of things we're discussing today, along with the other policies which we've adopted in previous conferences, will form an important part of the next government.